Now I want to add in the fasteners. I'm going to put a cross dowel here and I'm going to put a screw intersect intersecting it here. So let me find a cross dowel that I've already created before. I'm going to use the place command. And this is just going to take me to the list of my files that I have. And I just happen to have a cross dial here I can use. So it's going to ask me to put it somewhere on the screen. I'm going to put it somewhere that I can see it. And I'll put two of them there because I have two cross dials or cross dial holes. And I'm going to use the constraint again and the mate constraint. I'm going to use the outside um, sort of cylinder to use as the mate. And I'm going to use the hole here. I'm going to apply this. I can go ahead and do that to the second one while this is still open. And press OK. And you can see that it's constrained to the to this particular hole, but it's not constrained to the other hole just yet. And you might want to um, rotate these to go up. So I wouldn't have actually. I probably would have. Uh, made them on the other hole. So let me show you the other way I can do that. So I'm going to delete the constraint by going into the the browser um, view here, and I could go to that particular part, and I can change the constraints. These are the constraints that you have added to these parts. So now this is not constrained anymore, and I can constrain it to this hole instead first. So I'm, I'm going to constrain that. And then constrain it to that hole. And now when I press OK I can start moving it and I can also turn it. So this is on the correct side. Now I can go ahead and constrain it to the other intersecting hole here. So when I press OK it shows up on the correct side. And now you won't be able to move it at all. So I'm going to do the same thing to this one. I'm going to delete the constraint that I created. And then I'm going to constrain it using the other hole. And I just use the, the, the default uh, mate constraint. There's many other constraints that you can use. You can use an angle constraint, a uh, tangent constraint, which may work for um, maybe a cross dial within a groove, um, an, an insert constraint that works well with uh, uh, screws and fasteners, and then a symmetry constraint. So let's go ahead and constrain this. Press OK. I'm going to flip it, constrain it to the other, the other side, the other surface, press OK. So now I have the two cross dials in. I'm going to put, I'm going to put in screws now. So you can use the place from content center for the, for the screws and use the uh, available parts they have available um, that are parametric and you can uh, adjust the size. And I'll use the cross recessed pan head screw. And it's going to ask you where you want to put it. So I'm going to use this hole here. So I, I've given it the actual hole size. And then I, it's going to ask me where I want to, what edge or what face that I want the uh, the um, the head to be seated. So I'm going to press that, and then for the distance, I'm going to use 1.5. So I can move that. You can see I'm. It looks like it shows a number 12, but I can change that later. So I'm going to use 1.5. one and a half and I'm going to go ahead and accept that 
Uh, alternatively, I can also click on this because there, there's multiple holes, but I'm not going to do that yet because I'm going to show you um, the copying and pasting of this too. You can do that using the copying and pasting method instead. Okay, now I'm not going to be able to, to change it here, but I'm going to go ahead and press OK. It should show up within this hole. And then I can click on it. Oh, you know what? It's asking me to put in another one. I want to get out of that mode. I'm going to select it, right click on it, and I'm going to change the size. And the 1.5 is correct, but I want it to be a quarter inch screw, so I'm going to press OK. Now the screw has increased in, in its size, and um, I can use different visualizations to see how far that screw went in. So I can go over here, press the down arrow, and I can say shaded with hidden edges. I should be able to see it. Not too well, actually, so yeah, I can see it now. You can see it's a little bit too far in, so that means that I need to change the cross dowel hole um, distance. So um, first I'm going to put the other screw in. So I'm going to select that, I'm going to press the control C and control V, so I'm copying and pasting it using the keyboard. And I'm going to go ahead and just use the standard constraints using the mate. I'm going to mate it to this, and you can see that it's not flush up against the, the face here, so I'm going to use another constraint, but I can't really see that inside face, so I'm going to, you can use the outside edge, I'm going to apply this, you can use the outside edge, or you can use the inside face. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this and bring this out so you can see using the inside face to do this. So I'll constrain, I'll use the inside face. You can see that it's set for mating it um, against each other, not side by side. So that's what we want. And we just see, click on that edge and you can see that it made it correctly. So now they're, they're both in. And now I need to adjust the, the distance this cross dial hole is. So I'm going to I'm going to go back. I'm going to actually I'm going to create the um, a new parameter because I don't have that parameter in in the Excel sheet. That was that little point one that I put in there. I'm going to make this point one for now. And inches. Save it. And then bring that off the screen and go into this part I'm going to modify each one of those so it uses that new parameter so anytime I need to, to have that cross all hole go farther or closer to the edge I can do that pretty easily so this is actually you know what I'm going to use the parameter list it's a little bit easier to see there you can see that it's that 0.1 inch right here that I'm going to add in. Those parameters. Additional offset for screw, and that's what I want to use. I'm going to do the same thing. I can actually just copy and paste this. You can actually just manually type it in, but 
because there could be an issue with um, typographical errors. I didn't accept that. Let me go ahead and control V, press enter. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing to this one. Looks like the point two is there. Let's, that's why you would want to use this because I actually had it point one in one place and point two at the other place. So I'll press enter for that to accept it. Um, I'm going to update it. So now it should be a little bit better. Yeah, now you can see that there's a little bit of space between the edge of this hole and the end of the screw. So the screw doesn't go into the the edge of this of this hole. 